Hey everybody, thanks for listening to the Dumb Dad Podcast. My name is Kevin, and I'm a dumb dad. Hey everybody, my name is Evan. I'm a dumb dad. Hey, dummy. Hey, dummy. Uh, cheers. Cheers. I prayed. I threw coins in fountains. Mm-hmm. I um, j- sent it out into the universe. You did that. Did you... Uh, I did everything I could. Mercury retrograde? I, yep, I did everything I could. Cool. Please tell me you forgot to get your kid from school today. Mm. I did not. <sighs> because I didn't get my kid from school. My daughter, my wife did. But, <sighs> but I was there. Damn it. Watching my son while she went on time. I was uh, just really to... hoping you forgot about your child. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> and it normalized me doing it last week. I thought... <laughs> I thought it's funny that you you jumped out the gate because I was going to do something. <laughs> I was going to do uh, a long speech about how I know I gave you a hard time. I foiled you. You foiled me. Um, <laughs> now we got we got her. We'll see if we get her the rest of the week. But this is the early day. For those who don't know, our uh, it's early release on Tuesdays in, in L.A. And Evan last week on the podcast uh, revealed that he had forgotten his son. For the first time at the end of the year, second to last week of school. Uh, and let's roll right into that because we are in the play last a clip. week Can of... we play a clip let's, from let's the... Get, <laughs> let's get to the clip of <laughs> his son. Clip. Oh, look how sad he is. Oh, <laughs> hugging his, him hugging his knees. Look at him. Daddy's not showing up. Um, the, <laughs> the proclamation I made last week saying that I won't be over this anytime soon. Still not even close. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. Tripping at the finish line, hitting my face on the cement. Oh, man. And laying unconscious while runners pass me. Mm-hmm. And just 10th, 11th, 15th, 19th, 23rd place, 30th place, still unconscious, still <laughs> laying there, hasn't picked up his kid, gets a call from the teacher. Maybe this is inappropriate, but it, it, what you did was that woman who held out that sign during like the... Uh, <laughs> The bike race. <laughs> and then smash. <laughs> All the people just smashed into her. That's what that was. Oh, man. I just, you know, I've, I tripped at the finish line. That's what I did. I, mm-hmm. And I made it so many weeks in a row. And like we said, it was I was going <laughs> to... For the a- rest of my child's career, I don't want to be the person that does that. I did it in the first year. And then I did it at the end of the year. I was well rehearsed. I still did it. You did it, and I can never in your make your son's the... first year of in-person school. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling with that? Uh, this is your son's and my daughter's, even though your son is a great hire. First year of in-person school. How am I feeling with that? It's almost done. It's almost done. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I'll f- also let's fully admit, like I, th- I think LA, LA starts late, gets out late. So like we're having this conversation now. I think people have been out of school for two weeks. <laughs> people are on road trips <laughs> oh, yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, Listening on road trips right this. now, going like, oh man, what? they're still in school. Oh, they got another God. week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a wild ride it's been. And in so many ways, I think uh, not to get too deep here, but I think a lot of things, like a lot of things in life feels just like yesterday i mean it sounds so corny Mm -hmm. but like feels just like yesterday we entered the first day and we were really nervous and like we're masking up and we're going back into school and all these things and here we are like that was yesterday but it's been 200 days of it or whatever so many more days than yesterday (laughs) um but yeah i mean i think another fun thing to talk about is how our kids are feeling i mean I know they're they're a year apart, so you're you're completing kindergarten, we're completing first grade. Correct. But uh, good job. My but my son is is does not have the the typical student behavior of of uh, you know w- when can we get the hell out of here? Yeah. He's he's really feeling the weight of a couple of his classmates that he's very close with are going to uh, a magnet version of their school next year, and he. He's staying. He's staying. He got he got okay. put on a wait list. Was was trying. We he was trying to get in. Mm-hmm. He got put on a wait list, and so he knows. He feels wholeheartedly now that th- there's no way you can be in the same class as them next year. They're going to be sort of at a different version of the school next year than yeah. you. And so he's he's had a couple of uh, emotional breakdowns in the beginning of days of school, and just really feeling the weight of that. This last week. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and just so. 
and knowing I mean, I think even the week before he told me, he's like, yeah, there's only like 11 days. There's only 11 days left of school. Like it is really weighing on him that he (laughs) doesn't get to have 11 more days. I mean, no, no, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at my conversation I had with my daughter. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure. And we'll get there. Okay. But, but I, I know what you're saying and what's, Mm -hmm. and what you're saying it's, it's, which is totally fair. It's sort of the stereotypical version of school, which is like, I can't wait to get out of here. Right. I mean, which is, I'm assuming what you're talking about a little bit. And if not, that's still a little bit, that's still pretty much the stereotype of school. It is the stereotype of school. Right. I I guess I don't know what to gauge with kindergarten because to me, (laughs) I have, I mean, I have almost (laughs) no memory of kindergarten, but I'm pretty sure it was a blast. It's oh yeah, I was, Yeah. Which so. is why, which is concerning, why she wants to get out of there so fast. Well, <laughs> well, the, so it's all about like, but isn't that what it's about now? And I think that's about with my son too. It's about it's about meeting friends and feeling, yeah, maybe your first sense of real independence in some way. I guess you know sure. outside of the home, but there's there's been that overcoming the separation anxiety we felt in the early part of the year after mm-hmm. the pandemic and and moving on from that. And so I think it's. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, kids are just so, kids are just so different from each other. You know that he's that he's feeling the weight of 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 not being able to see his friends. That's probably consistent and maybe more. I'm just gonna. This is just a guess, but maybe no. a, a more consistent behavior or emotional feeling with kids in this age group where really it is about the relationship, and but sure. they didn't get to have that for two years, and now yeah. you get to meet friends again, and it's like you establish these awesome relationships with these kids that are your age yeah and then all right well you know two and a half months not going to see each other anymore for a while that's probably a lot to take you know in some ways no it definitely is um my conversation with my daughter wasn't i couldn't wait for it to get out although she is pretty excited for it to be over um but i think she's gonna get bored really fast like then she's gonna regret that that's on us (laughs) that's what i mean (laughs) but i guess that's what i mean where she um where she's like excited for school to end. And that's where I mean, where I'm confused by like where that's even coming from. And I think it's, it's, I think it's from the um, way too heavy workload in my humble opinion that she's been given. I mean, like I've talked about it before, but like three pages of worksheets, two online assignments a day, every day for kindergarten is insane. And it yeah. definitely well, wore on her and it annoyed her. And I felt like we had that last year, but last year doing, we were in kindergarten last year. And the school day was short. And then there was a little bit of homework to try to get done with your children so you're not spending too much time on a screen with a teacher that you've never sure. met before. So, like, there's... No, that... But, I, but it's like feels like it's I, doubling down on in-person school with you guys. It's doubling down, and I guess that's what I don't like is my daughter will come home and be excited. You know, she knows how to read, you know... Who, what, where, when, why? She's like, I know all those words now. And they're like, that's so cool. Let's write them. And she's like, I hate this. And you're like, well, you were just excited a second ago, but I'm making you hate it because the school's making me make you hate it. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't feel great for you. No, it's not exciting for her either because she was excited about it. And then being forced, like, let's keep doing it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The funny thing was, though, (laughs) is I had a conversation with her and I was homework. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's terrible. Um, was I was having a conversation with her. We were at a playground this weekend, and I said to her, I was like, she asked, is tomorrow a weekend? And I was like, no, tomorrow's Monday, but it is your last week of school. It would be your last Monday. Last Maybe you would have done Wednesday. your calendar homework. You would have known right. it tomorrow. <laughs> so I was like, you should be, I was like, it's your last week of school, so just like keep that in mind. Like You, you won't be doing kindergarten ever again, so just try to enjoy it. Try to enjoy the classroom. <laughs> try to enjoy your friends. Um, try to enjoy all the fun things you're doing with the teacher that like you did and that you enjoy. And just remember, this is your, this is your last week of kindergarten. I think if you, I said that to your son, he'd, he'd probably, I was just, that's why I was just um, laughing. Melt down. down. Because of my t- he would, he would. It's the truth. Kevin, it's the truth. If I told him like, just so you know, I mean like this is your last week of kindergarten you're ever going to have in your life. He'd go really. And like, I mean, that's how I was when I was a kid. It was like, yeah, the finite end of something that I will never get to experience again. That emotionally, like, do you know what she said? <laughs> she was quiet for a second, and I was like, "Oh, sweet, I'm having a moment." And she said, "Well, no, it's not my last week of kindergarten." And I was like, "Why not?" And she goes, "If I want to, I could open a school, my school, and have it only teach kindergarten, and I could go there." 
<laughs> and I was like, why do I talk to you? <laughs> oh, I, well, yeah. That, you're not wrong. Yeah, it's... But you're so wrong. Yeah. They, like, <laughs> it's a great answer. It's a great answer. Oh, okay. But also, but also just be clear, it's your last week of kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you started kindergarten school. It's your own school. That's like the vision of like a billionaire. Who just You know, you hear those weird things like billionaires have like... <laughs> yeah. Just, we just she's surrounded by yes men. Yeah, we're like unless I open a school, opening a school next week. Great, get the groundwork. We're gonna break ground next. For your we're gonna break ground Monday. Birthday. <laughs> I want to have a kindergarten. A what? I want to have a kindergarten. <laughs> oh, you want to be a kindergarten teacher? No, I want to be in kindergarten again. My father told me thirty years ago this was my last week of kindergarten, and he's dead now, and I want to <laughs> build it on his grave. <laughs> School, the school is called Sp- <laughs> Sprites for Spite. It's, uh, yep. <laughs> it's specifically just to rub it in your father's face. <laughs> I can go to school. I can go to kindergarten whenever I want, first of all. Don't have precious moments with my daughter. She'll just burn them down. <laughs> Don't try to have core memories. She will change yeah. them and make them their own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Speaking of uh, That's amazing. core memories, we had uh, her first ever, well, her first ever birthday party where she was able to really take it in and enjoy friends. So that's we, right. That's a good update that uh, we were talking about the last week. It was uh, she her had fun, her birthday. Yeah, last po- before the last podcast, big number six, big number six, and then we had the party, the park party. So yes, this was her first party. I think she had you know she had a one year old birthday party and then uh, two. Don't really remember, which means she doesn't either. <laughs> and then lockdown. Not the last party, because she could open up a party school or whatever she wants. She and she could just she wants. have parties every day. Yeah. And so you don't know what you're talking about. So, but four and five were in uh, just Zoom parties. <laughs> nightmares. Zoom nightmares. And so she got to have her, her sixth birthday party at a playground. And, and there was a bunch of uh, her friends from school. A lot of her friends from school showed yep. up. Yep. With... Uh, their siblings and stuff. And then my wife and I started panicking because we had counted for how many kids were RSVP. And then we said, let's add on this many in case this many show up. And then a couple more on top of that. So morning of we get together the, all the, it's just like a wedding again, doesn't it? Stuff. Like, can we invite these people? Should yeah. we invite these people? No, but well, wedding. if we're going to invite, the, well, if we're going to invite them, we should really invite Here's them. At a yeah. wedding, you can say you get to bring a guest or you don't. And this was just a free for all. <laughs> People just showing up and just being on the side. Is it okay that his three cousins are here? <laughs> well, they're here now. And I, Let's I own this park this weekend. <laughs> so. You bring who you know. But it, no, it was great. We were actually really happy to have all the people there. And we had plenty of food and and uh, treats and s- snacks for everybody. But what was funny is we were so nervous because we'd never had a party before. Sure. Uh, certainly not one at a playground that I called the Parks and Rec Department. And I was like, I want to have a a birthday party for my daughter on this date at this park. Do I need a permit or do I need to reserve this spots? Cause some of them do that. And she was like, are you going to have a bouncy uh, castle? And I was like, I uh, know I'm not going to do Which that. Which is the most LA thing ever. I mean, like most you go, you drive by a public park on a Saturday. There's seven bounce houses. Yep. Up. And she was like, you have a bounce house. And I was like, no. And she went bad father. Uh, no, you don't need a reservation <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you say I'm sorry, was, I thought you said this was a party. Say it was a party, or is it just uh, kids eating candy on a bench? Because that's what it sounds like you're telling me it is. <laughs> that's what I heard you say. Why are you calling me? Do you With mean sad that, looks on their face. Why did you say sad looks? <laughs> are you calling to get a number of the bouncy castle department? And you expect more than five people to show yeah. up to this thing? <laughs> Good luck. There's nothing in the bouncy castle. So she was like, no, there'll be one within 50 yards. So the, don't be surprised if most yeah. of your party guests leave and go to the. <laughs> so she was like, no, it's first come first serve. And we we're like, all right, great. So now my wife and I are nervous because this playground has four uh, picnic tables in the playground area. It's not a lot. I would say I've been, this, been here before, too. There's like two like sort of there's two pretty good size. I guess what would you would call like playground structures? Yeah, right. W- within, within the gated area. Within about. It's about 48 and a half yards. I'm thinking about a like, you know, a little flippy wedge in between the two, right? Okay. Stick the green in between the two. That's just my golf mindset okay. going there. Sure. But in between those, yeah, four like major p- 
picnic tables that sort of like yeah. bridge the gap between the two. Mm-hmm. So if you're if you're setting up shop there, you're kind of claiming the the that area. The, that's a big area to it's claim. It's a big area to claim. So we got there at uh, eight the night before. Fifteen slept. in the morning, <laughs> we arrived. Yeah, um, realized, wow, we nailed it. Nobody's here. Yeah, no one wants these all. concert tickets. You can come here when the doors open. So we bring in, we bring as much stuff as we can to the picnic table, and my wife is like, "All right, I'm gonna. I don't want the kids to stay here at the playground because <laughs> this party starts at ten. <laughs> because it's eight fifteen. <laughs> because the party starts at ten. We don't want them to be burnt out by the time their friends come, and exactly. it goes till noon. We know we'll be there till at least one. Right, right, right. Maybe two, and um. So she's like, so I'm going to go get them donuts, and then she needed to get like ice for the cooler, and I was like, great, I'll, I'll hang here. And as soon as she was gone, I was alone at a playground. Um, hey, red flag. <laughs> uh, good news was there was no children there, so just... Uh, <laughs> Not yet. You had the happy birthday sign up, though. Yeah, just... Uh, just Party a, starts here, guys. We're <laughs> just a man alone with a bunch of balloons. <laughs> Everyone saw it. And, a, and an unlimited <laughs> juice. <laughs> Got a cooler full of juice. There's no ice, though. Never more have you felt more isolated in your own mm-hmm. situation. Wasn't great. Wasn't great. I made a story. Okay, about I'll it. hold down the fort. I'll see you guys later. I'll just be by myself. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm, this is worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> so so um, that happened. And then she came back and we set up. And now it's <laughs> 930. And there's still nobody at the playground. We overshot it. Uh, uh, it was very clearly our yeah. first <laughs> playground birthday party because <laughs> we could have just showed up a half hour late and we would have got a picnic table. Sure. Um, <laughs> sure. And we were it was just, we were at the park for a I very, didn't need to bribe the guy at Parks and Rec. Yeah. <laughs> 50 bucks. Yeah. Do you know why? Is because that playground structure, as you said, is two large structures, about 48 and, uh, 48 and a half. Yeah, yards. about a 40 and yeah, yeah, 40 and a half yards or so. So, and it's all in a gated area. It's not a great space for a bouncy house. Not a great space. That's why space. nobody was there. That's right. Everybody on a Saturday are at the bouncy house. Yeah. Planes. There's a pl- plenty of other space outside the gated mm-hmm. area to put, put a bouncy house, set up a shop, and then go crash another party that they thinks they've claimed mm-hmm. to. Uh, but so, you didn't reserve it so they could, maybe anybody can just come and hang out. Yeah. Yeah. You did it all backwards. We did it all backwards, but it worked out <laughs> for the most part. The kids had a great time. Um, Rainbow Unicorn birthday Rainbow was Unicorn. in full effect. I made the, I made the, uh, I'll be honest. I had, I was very busy. I didn't, uh, was nothing was made from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was a box made. And, uh, wait, who made the, who made the Rainbow Unicorn cu- cupcake well, situation? Well, let me say this. So I used a box cake to make the cupcakes and then I got like containers of Pillsbury frosting and I was like, I'm not putting confectioner sugar and whipping it into, you know, I'm not doing that. (laughs) I've done that many times. I've done that for every birthday. We were really busy. We couldn't do it. So I just made You also know what that, what it takes to do that. (laughs) Yes, I do. But yes, I made a unicorn. uh, I made a unicorn out of the cupcakes. I... Which was really funny because we had, my wife and I were so stubborn. So we had, when we moved in this house, a box that go, went missing, as you have had. And I'm yeah, sure oh, yeah. everybody has a box that goes missing on a move. Our box had in it. It's a sore subject in our house. It's a sore subject There's a in couple of like, there's a really nice all clad pot that we love to use. Gone. Gone. Don't, I mean, and, and that's a standard. You know what I'm saying? We had a platter. I don't remember the other things, but <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the next time. We had a three-wick candle just gone. You know, like a family. No, no, no. Like a (laughs) ceramic, nice. We're giving it for our wedding. It's great for serving. Let's say, I don't know, a cupcake's in the shape of a unicorn. It would have been clutch in that moment. But we didn't. And what do we do now? Just like like three big plates. Three dinner plates. Here's where where I went. uh, (laughs) Here's where I went, uh, dad trying too hard. I meant to ask you about So here's this. what I did. What was the, contra- did you make this contraption? So my wife at, no, where did she buy it? Did she buy it or did I buy it? I don't know. I think she bought it at the store. She was like, there's these sh- metal trays. She found it like Ralph's and they're just, yeah. They're local just grocery store. Local grocery store. And it's um, just these metal trays. And she was like, will this work? And I was like, how big are they? And she's like, each one is about the size of uh, a cookie sheet that we already have. But I was wondering if maybe you could do something with it. And I was like, yeah, I can. Bring them home. <laughs> so she, 
brings them home. I use uh, answer I yes. A, I use figure it out afterwards. I get the tool bag out. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I take my uh, like kind of like uh, metal like bolt kind of cutters, and I'm like cutting this thing, cutting the lip off one side of one, like sheet metal cutters. Yeah, sheet metal cutters. Yeah. And then I'm like cutting off the edges of this metal tray on one side, putting it together, uh, cutting off the, and then I cut the other ends and then I weaved, I weaved them into each other. Like, they're like, if you're folding your hands, like you're crossing your, you know, interlocking your fingers, interlocking your fingers. Thank you're you. the- I, I interlocked it. I weaved them in like that and I flattened them out. Then I took a cookie sheet, put it underneath and then I packing tape, taped it down. That structure was solid as so hell. solid it, it then was, i flipped it over yeah. and covered it in uh aluminum foil sure for you know so it looked good sure <laughs> no seams no so, seams so yeah here's what i admire about this and then we and then you had enough cupcakes down to the one cupcake really it looked like you were gonna be shy but all the people it was a perfect number and then what happened to this contraption that you made when we were done your wife destroyed it. She threw it in the garbage. And like that's the most dad thing you've ever done is spent so much time making sure that structurally this can support 25 to 28 mm-hmm. cupcakes to make a unicorn cupcake. I mean, it cupcake. was solid. There was no give. <laughs> you didn't pick it up and go, oh, you picked it up and you're like, this I know. is doing great. <laughs> I know. This and the, the, the pride that you put into something like that. When you're when you're so focused on a big enough sheet that can house mm-hmm. this cupcake structure you're gonna make, and then it's like just for that one purpose, I appreciate that that mindset of detail to yeah. to the ingenuity that you then cover with aluminum foil. No, no one seems. Will, no one will appreciate that. No, no one knows about that. No one knows. About no one that. knows about it except for everyone listening. No, but Thank you, you. But welcome. you, <laughs> welcome everyone. Welcome in. <laughs> welcome into a dad's. What is that mindset of like? I will do what it takes to keep my children happy down to the... I mean, I'm happy with it. And I, I mean, I'm not an it engineer. Was, it was the best But I'll case. just say I would have gotten into Harvard with that thesis. <laughs> <laughs> what What are you presenting me with? Uh, why don't you flip it over and uh, <laughs> tell me what dorms you have available. How about you... <laughs> How about you set your laptop on top of that thing and tell me whether or not you think it's going to fold in half in the middle? Why would it fold in half in the middle? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know either because it shouldn't. And also, would you tell me how to get to Hall H? I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the equivalent. Like moms get nailed for like like by like other dumb dads for like they're always cleaning the floorboards when companies coming over as if anybody's looking at that and blah blah blah. Not even that. It's the like trimming the the backyard there in the uh, the shaded area trimming the, with sure. the hedge trimmer like. Sure. <laughs> what are you doing here? We got laundry I, on the floor. I will say I'm a floor boarder as well. Um <laughs> it yeah, it's me. only a reason it's only recency bias. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But um that's one of those like dad wins that was just like you just have and you're like Look at everybody having a great time. No idea what went into that. <laughs> but here's where my dumb dad moment comes in. It has nothing to do with the I'll trade. find a way to shine this. Let me yeah. <laughs> shine this later. Um, well, here's my dumb dad moment. It has nothing to do with the tray. The tray was perfect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I stood on it. I mean, this thing wasn't going anywhere. We had uh, we we had a child that showed up to the party early on and was just like are you guys having a party? And we were like, oh uh, yeah, we're having a birthday party. And he just kind of like lingered there and was like, you didn't can- recognize him. Didn't recognize him. No, invited. I knew, I knew right. We knew yeah. right away. My wife yeah. saw him for what talked to him first. And it was like, well, we're here at the playground and we don't have, so if you want to come play with us, you can come play with us. Go for it. Sure. And, uh, and he really stuck around for a we while. We got both of we these asked play his, structures. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you know, like <laughs> I'm really glad. Here's my thing. I'm really glad he didn't approach me. Uh, before my wife came back with the kids. Because <laughs> I'm like, uh-uh, mm-mm. And you see me running away from a child. Yeah, running away from your own party. <laughs> but uh, he approached me and we were like, well, where's your dad? And his dad was um, playing basketball with his friends. And his dad did come and, and check on us once. And was just like, is he okay? And we were like, yes, you're his father. But yeah. <laughs> like, 
He is okay. I was wondering if you're going to bring this up. This is a weird moment. It was a weird moment. It was a weird moment at the park, considering this kid was there for upwards of ninety minutes. Yeah. So before he, anybody came to, well, that was well. I'll get to that. Yeah. yeah. So we were, he, we, you know, we were letting him play and all that stuff, and <laughs> you know, he he had some snacks, and we were like, "That's totally That's fine. Totally fine. Yeah, totally fine. Course. Not mad about any of this." Uh, but we're all kind of like side eyeing each other, like. The dad did come up, but like this is uncomfortable. Uh, this whole situation is uncomfortable in the sense that like we're all there hanging out with our kids at this birthday party, and our kids are bouncing in between two play structures. Mm-hmm. And if you lose sight of your kid for more than five minutes, you're like, I'm, "Oh, I feel I feel a little weird right now. Where's my kid? Okay, there they are." Yeah, I'm of the mindset right now, if my kids are walking too far ahead of me, a van filled with the Foot Clan will come out and snatch them, and they're gone. And then I have to get together Kino, the pizza boy, and the Ninja Turtles. And Casey Jones. And Casey Jones. And get April O'Neil to report to the mm-hmm. local news, and then it, it's and, a whole thing. It's a whole maybe thing. Maybe if we get lucky, we'll end up in a warehouse with vanilla ice. If we're lucky, if you're he's lucky, doing some underground concert by the docks. Yeah, right. But but really, who's to know which pier they're on? So many. But <laughs> where are we going with this? Anyway, <laughs> I'm I'm locked in, uh, buddy. But that's what I mean is <laughs> that's where that is. And this this dad just coming over, going, "You strangers got him," and we were like, "Uh huh." And he's like, "Thumbs up," and he heads back to hanging out with his friends. Right. So super uncomfortable. Uh, everyone was uh, uncomfortable, but but and, but uh, happy with him, like happy with him being there. Uncomfortable about the situation, not uncomfortable. That's what's gonna say. Not uncomfortable with the, the here's, boy. What, here's what I was gonna say. The, the you're right, not uncomfortable with the kid because the kid was very sweet, and he, he was, was going over sweet. there. He was giving compliments to people. He was asking like, "I'm allergic to this. Am I allowed to eat any of this?" Where you're, where we're saying like, it's, only, "You can have a, have all what you want." Which only. Uh, increased my anxiety when he said that to me. (laughs) I'm allergic to this and I was like, give I please don't put this on me. What was funny is uh, a friend of ours, uh, shout out to uh, Randy who uh, works in social working. Uh, She's a social worker. uh, Excuse me. And she she is like, what's going on? And we all told her and she was like, yeah, absolutely not. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Because she works in that field of like that uncomfortable thing that we're all feeling like I don't know what to do. She's like, I know, I know addressed. what to do. It needs to be addressed. <laughs> yeah. So she brought so she brings uh the, the, the boy back to his to his dad and while that's all happening, my wife and I are just talking to each other, going, That's just insane. Like and we're saying the thing we were, I was just saying of just like like our kids get too far ahead on a walk and we just assume <laughs> They're going to get pulled into a car. Like, it's just the fear that we have. Just get anxious. I know we sound like helicopter parents. It's just what we do. And as we're saying that, my son is opening a fence and just, just, he, he's gone. He was about like a tree and a half away. Like, I and mean, I was chasing him. And you were chasing I him. I was the one pursuing him. As we're just talking about, like, I can't believe. Uh, How could you not watch your kid for 90 minutes? Because who knows what can happen? Need my my son is just booking. Your son pushed. I watched. I I followed your son for about twenty yards because my daughter was trying to play with him, mm-hmm. and so I noticed he was like, what I thought was playing this game of running away. Like, well, I don't. Ha ha. He was, but he was me. Forrest Gump style. Where sure, he wasn't yeah. stopping. Yeah, exactly. And he walked over to the gate at the edge of the. <laughs> Play structure, pushed it open, mm-hmm. and like did not look back. No. Was I mean, thirty yards out into the trail, into the open park. I was kind of doing the thing where it's like you know I'm like lazily walking after him, and then I'm and then I'm walking after him, and then I'm kind of like walking after him, and then with a purpose I'm walking, and then I go and I grab his arm, okay. and I said, "Hey, buddy, what are you doing?" And he goes, "I'm going home." <laughs> I was like. Well, no, you're not. <laughs> What's a bummer? And I was doing. I'm like, he loves hey, to do red that. light, pal. Stop. Red light. He Turn doesn't. around. It, no one was there. Wait, I wasn't there. No one was there. He was going home. He was going home. <laughs> he was going home. And here's the thing: my son can feel. I'm, I'm no. Again, I'm not a Harvard grad. We've been over this, but my son, I'm pretty sure, can feel the rotation of the Earth because 
he'll just be standing there and like he's on a ship and we're all on land. He just gets thrown into a wall out of nowhere and just falls down. I think that's called vertigo. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> but when he's like booking, I mean, solid form, doesn't stop. There's no end in sight. <laughs> no, it, we, it was it was like the world fell away and he was walking on a bridge he's, to he's juking by squirrels. <laughs> yeah, he was just <laughs> out. Of, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going home. So yeah, that was a uh, don't judge a uh, don't judge anybody. Okay, or uh, come yeah. right back at you. How funny is that? It was like that is what that was scary. Why was he doing that? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> As we were actively being like, how could somebody be so <laughs> negligent? What's happening? Where is he? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Evan's got him. Evan's got him. It looks like he's trying to convince him to come back to the party. (laughs) I heard there's a bounce house down here. I'm trying to get out. (laughs) I'm trying to get out of here. (laughs) Okay, so let me talk about my dumb dad moment I brought to the table. Okay, so this weekend I was fortunate enough. We we had different schedules this weekend, Uh but I was fortunate enough to go to North Carolina this weekend. So sponsor of the show. Little Otter. We've been working with them for quite some time. Mm-hmm. It's a m- mental health um, conscious app company specifically targeted towards children. To and families as well. but Families, but yeah. 2 to 12 years old and now families expanding, which is uh, great. We're so happy to partner with them. And I was lucky enough to go to uh, North Carolina this weekend to go to like their yearly function, their yearly get together as a company. Yeah. So again, fortunate. They flew me out, and uh, you were busy here in LA filming. Yes, and um, and uh, <laughs> so I'll say this: super fun to get to go be a part of something like that. Yeah, to get to go meet Dr. Helen and the people we've been working with for a long time that mm-hmm. we've never got to meet in person because yeah. of we. I mean, we work on two different coasts, and so jealous of that COVID and everything. I yeah. mean, she's as, I mean, she's as warm as we thought she was when we spoke yeah. to her in, as uh, online. She's just. It was just an incredible experience. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Um, all that to say, the funny thing was, so I'm, so I go to North Carolina. I've never been in North Carolina before, and so we flew him to Durham, which is where they're based. Pretty small college town feel, right? It's not, it's not a huge spot. Yeah, definite like sort of like emerging. Like, wow, what a cool like downtown, but town feel if that makes sense like yeah, it wasn't sure. very big um but anyway since i was going there i thought like okay so i it was a quick turnaround because our kids are still in school other kids are out of school our kids are still in school here so it was like i can i can do it i can go let's let's go talk we'll have a great chat and meet people and i'll go there for like a late weekend kind of thing and turn around and come back so i flew in and then the real kind of free time i had was so I flew in, my, my flight was delayed like two hours. And so I got in like super late the night that I got there. But I knew that the next morning I didn't have to go anywhere until noon. That's when we were going to go have a chat and like meet everybody and have a great time together. But I, so I thought, okay, so I have like from whenever I wake up until noon to go, I'll pick something to go do. I could go yeah. see the Duke campus. I could go see, you know, there's North Carolina's right there. Like, yeah. and, and so but knowing that like the Durham is kind of a small spot, Durham, the Durham baseball team, Bull Durham, they play mm-hmm. right, I mean, like right there. So of like all the places, what I really should do is think of something to do in the morning to go experience the town and give myself an opportunity to give, you know, I've never been there before. Yeah. Do something cool in the morning and then, and then reset and come back and then we'll go to the day's events. Here's the thing. I specifically remember going to bed the night before setting my alarm thinking I'll get up a little earlier than I normally will, which will be even earlier considering I was only going to be there for like 30 hours. So yeah. I set my alarm for like eight o'clock or like just after eight o'clock, which is really just after five o'clock right. considering our time, which is probably partially my dumb dad moment because I had this intention of like, I'll get up, I'll shower and I'll get kind of get ready for the day. And then I'll give myself like three or four hours to really figure something out to do. Yeah. And so I slept okay. I don't know. As you, I don't know if you're anything like me. You go to a hotel room and it, it, it at least takes a night, maybe two nights to like sleep okay. Because, sure. you know, you're traveling, you're in a different yeah. bed, you know. Anything. I actually slept all right. And so I woke up in the morning and a couple times kind of stirring up in the morning and thinking like, it must be like 2.30 or, you know, not really thinking about it. And then at one point I thought, all right, I'm having trouble like kind of relaxing and going back to sleep. So let me just see what time it is and see like w- w- what my 
how far away I am from like really needing to get started. It's ten fifteen. Mm-hmm. Perfect. <laughs> there it is. And that's like, I don't know what that is. That's my dumb dad moment. Yeah. Was going. It was kind of ruining any opportunity. I had to go like. So you just did set any it. alarm, or you just smashed it off, or I don't know what. I don't know. Because mm-hmm. I remember thinking the 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 like, finals thinking. game two was on. Yeah, I remember thinking very clearly. I remember thinking the finals game was on that night and I kind of watched the end of the game and then thought, all right, it's about time to go to bed. It's not super late, but it also felt like I was going to bed at six because I just flown there, you know, that kind of thing. But I was like, I just, I woke up at 10, 15 and was like, how can this be real? I was. (laughs) (laughs) So what'd you do? I woke up, I took a shower and thought the one thing I can do before our the first thing we were going to do was go to lunch at noon. So oh, I thought, okay. okay, well, I can't go have a big breakfast somewhere or something. So I just picked the coolest looking coffee, coffee shop I could find within walking distance. I got ready, took my shower and walked down there. It was a very nice, very nice morning. I will say it was beautiful weather. Yeah, I walked across town in less than 10 minutes. So it's that kind of place. Uh, and found a little coffee shop and kind of just hung out there until I thought I needed to go back to the hotel and then get ready for the day. But it was like, man, what, uh, <laughs> I felt so stupid. It's like the one time you have to kind of like absorb something from somewhere you've never been before. Screwed it up. You blew it. I <laughs> totally blew it. <laughs> I picked my son up, son up late from school again. I <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, yeah. Um, all that to say, I had a nice morning. It was a nice walk, and I had a nice coffee, and I came back, and it was fine, but I didn't get to go. <laughs> flew across the country to take a nice walk to a coffee shop. and I'll... I tried my best, but still, I, what I'll tell you is I don't know what happened. But I still, I mean, I, <laughs> you slept. Slept. I guess I just really needed it. You needed that. <laughs> you earned it. More than I thought, but yeah. Did you need a night to get comfortable? Sounds like, <laughs> nope, you needed that night. I needed that night as a person. (laughs) (laughs) I tried, but hey, I still had a great time. It was a wonderful chat. It was so nice meeting everybody from Little Otter, and so uh, it was a very quick trip, but... I'll go to the next one. I'm back, and then the next time we next go to North Carolina. (laughs) Um, I'll set the alarm. (laughs) You'll set the alarm. I'll set up a wake-up call for you. I've never done that before. Right. I never done that either. I probably should have tried that. that. We should definitely should have tried that. Should have. But anyway, that's All my right. dumb dad moment. Was thank you for your stupid sharing. idiot. <laughs> thank you for sharing. All right, so we have um, we have a couple of dumb mom moment, dumb user submissions. Dumb. Can we read a couple? I think they're not too long. Dumb mom moments. Let's read them. And if you guys have, we love reading these on the podcast. If you have your own dumb parent moments, you can email us dumbdadpod at gmail dot com, or you can DM us on Instagram at dumbdadpod and Maybe we'll read them on the podcast. We love reading them. So yeah, let's do it. We have two dumb mom moments in a row. So we're going to read those. So I'm going to read the first one. I'll give you the second one. Okay, ready? Here we go. This is from Lindsay. Okay. Hi, guys. I have, Hi, a, dumb, I have a dumb mom story. A couple weeks ago, I was picking up my daughter from kindergarten. Half day gets out at 1120. Already feel the pain. Okay. Too okay. soon. Too soon, Lindsay. And then we were going to meet friends for lunch at the park. I got to the school about 15 minutes before they got out, so I was just chatting with my sister on the phone. Okay, so they were on time. You, mm-hmm. you were on time, on but lunch. then intentionally wasting time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not sure what came over me. But then right as the kids were getting out, I just pulled away and drove off. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh no! No idea. No idea why. I guess my brain just was like, "Okay, I did. came to the, the school. Now happened. we're done." Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't until I was almost to, to the park to the meet the friends that I realized I forgot to bring my daughter to. Oh! I quickly made a U-turn, passed my friend who was coming to the park, and was very confused, and made my way back to the school where my daughter was the last kid standing there with the principal. Mm. With the principal. Oh, I, I, wanna, I, I can see the look of that friend who's like <laughs> tracking the car with their head with that confused. Like, huh? <laughs> Aren't you going the wrong way to the place we've been there's, to so many times? There's, there's bounce houses, the street other parking. <laughs> oh, Lindsay, that's a 
That's a nightmare. I did something. Tur- she said, it turned out fine. Well, sure. But when I met my friends, I was too embarrassed to tell them what I had done. My friend even told me her daughter said, maybe she forgot Cam, my daughter, and told her, I'm sure she didn't forget Cam. Well, I did. <laughs> but I just told them we had to go back for something. One of my Perfect. most iconic dumb mom moments for sure. Love the pod and social media content. Thanks for making me laugh. Lindsay, what's great about that story is uh, following enough crime dramas, you learn <laughs> that um, the devil's in the details. If there's too many details, people know you're lying. So when you just say, <laughs> yeah, I wish I had to go back for something. If you went, we have to go back for her science project, which was uh, a volcano but a purple <laughs> volcano because she loves purple. We all know she loves purple, but you didn't do that. <coughs> so thank you, Lindsay. Uh, I killed Evan. He's choking. I'm dying on that story. My voice is new now. Oh, and here's this person. We're back to a week ago, Evan. Hi, my um, name is Dun- Evan. I'm a dumb dad. That is hilarious. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Lindsay. That's that's so good. <laughs> I don't know what made me immediately think of this. I think because. As a teenager, this was devastating to me, but because like I had a job and it was minimum wage, who knows what it was, seven dollars an hour when I was in high school, and um, I went to Dunkin' Donuts one morning to get, a, I think I was like a vanilla chai. I was really into vanilla chais in high school, and I went and got yeah, one. Yeah, you were. <laughs> and I gave him a twenty dollar bill. He gave me the chai, and I drove off. And I didn't realize until I got to school, I never got my change. I was devastated. <laughs> Yeah, I see how you're trying to correlate 1385 to a child. <laughs> oh, I feel like it was more than that. It's at least. <laughs> I don't understand. It's at least fifteen dollars. Then my favorite part is like the she's there. She's there. Like last week, I was laying on the couch comfortably, thinking I don't have to pick my son up until two thirty, and they call me at. 150, saying you should have picked your son up a half an hour ago. She's there, and then thanks. That's enough. That's <laughs> and drives away. You both made mistakes. I mean, you be, you've been doing it for a year. Uh, all right, let's move on. Yeah. All right, let's our move. next. Yeah, let's move on. We don't need to dumb because I'm starting to feel the effects again. <laughs> is from Emily. Thank you, Emily. For Thank you for sending Emily. Sending in. Okay, dumb mom moment. This morning, I took my 14 month old to the park slash boardwalk near our house. She was walking back and forth on the boardwalk, which, as the name implies, is made of boards. She, (laughs) okay, we're painting a picture here. I like Emily's a details person. She loves playing with anything that doesn't belong to her. Keys, wallet, cell phone. So I didn't think twice when she grabbed for my phone. Oh, Oh, I already see what's happening here. (laughs) (laughs) When she grabbed for my phone. Within seconds, my phone has fallen between the phone size space (laughs) between two of the boards. I tried to get it. (laughs) The phone size space. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's what they are. I know it is. Been on a boardwalk. It's Uh, intentional. Between the two boards. Uh, I tried to get it out with a stick and was almost successful, but no dice. I was able to borrow my husband's phone, call the parks department, and have someone meet me there to retrieve my phone. Now, here's the thing. Most people, that seems like a overreaction, but you got to pay for those phones out right now. There's no more uh, two-year contracts, okay? <laughs> you need to own those things, so I respect that move. Of course, they had to use... Which cell phone company does Emily <laughs> ring for? <laughs> of course, they had to use a drill and lift up a board to get it out, so quite the production. And there is now a playgroup underway at the park watching this all unfold uh, all the board parents are watching on in entertainment once the park guys had retrieved my phone i thanked them profusely and shuffled away with my head down hoping i didn't see anyone i know of course i wasn't that lucky oh and just leaves it there she must have known some she, also she was yeah she <coughs> knows somebody but uh also emily, emily and never you. to be seen at that boardwalk <laughs> again no did they put a plaque down for you? In, <laughs> I was asking. In between the boards so that it'll never happen again. Here lied Emily's phone. At least in that phone. one spot. <laughs> Everybody should get a plaque. <laughs> oh, I know that feeling too of when like, kids like just take things and go, thank you, and then immediately go yeah. and do something with it. <clears throat> yep. The intention went through. Yeah. 
yeah. stuck in between the boards. I mean, I could see it in my mind. Like, I can see the transaction of like child hand phone, turn and insert phone. Where's my prize? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Your prize is severe embarrassment in front of your peers. <laughs> as uh, yeah, at the peers, peer. yeah, at the peers. Um, oh, thank you, Emily. Thank you, Lindsay, for thank sending you. these moments, stories, <sighs> feelings. I mean, it's it's just it's, it's never ending, isn't it? Like you can prepare and you can prepare, <clears throat> but I'm still suffering over here. <laughs> he's still he's not doing well. I'll take it from here, everybody. Thank you, guys. As always, so much for listening and watching. If you're watching on YouTube, we have these full episodes up on YouTube now. Also, I do want to mention again, Father's Day is right around the corner. I mean, by the time this podcast drops, we're going to have days, which is okay. But we do have Cameo. We can do Cameos for so fun any fathers They're out there. so fun to do. Love doing them. We've already done a few for this Father's Day. We did a lot last year. Let's get them going. We also have uh, merch in the merch store, Dumb Dad Club, all that stuff. If you've got a, a dumb dad that you want to just uh, give some merch to for Father's Day, it's a great gift. So check Lace out. Them up. The link is in our bio. Check out all that stuff. Um, we are at Dumb Dad Pod on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And uh, thank you to at Verdu on SoundCloud for the beats, the intro, the outro. And thanks, as always, to my lovely wife, Annie, for producing and editing this podcast evan can you take us out with uh technically a, a joke yeah i got one right here ready i'm a different person now <laughs> okay i asked my dog what's two minus two what's two minus two mm-hmm. mm. he said nothing because it's a dog yeah because it's a dog okay but he's also technically right So I gave him a treat, a cookie. I mean, he didn't answer you. If he stonewalled you, that's not technically saying nothing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can't slip one past this guy. No, thank you. Next. Okay. <laughs> okay bye. bye. Welcome to the world, little one. Welcome to life. How do I stop this?